Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. It's the voices of the Ecclesia. We started a series, hey, deep, deep series. My goodness, with uh, Reverend Tom Otieno last week. Mm -hmm. And we continue the conversation. I love the way the conversation went. And today is the 19th day of November and it's International Men's Day. So happy International Men's Day. And I just wanted to say the purpose of International Men's Day is to celebrate men's Positive contributions to society, community, family, marriage, child care, and, and the environment. To focus on men's health and well-being, social, emotional, physical, and spiritual, and to highlight discrimination against men in areas of social services, social attitudes, and expectations, and the law. And I just really pray that you feel celebrated wherever you are, um, and that um, God will bless you abundantly, I'm sure. Um, Reverend Tom will say a prayer for you when we end the, the series today, but I just pray that you feel celebrated wherever you are. And Reverend Tom, what a word, what a way to start. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling like I need to go immediately start praying and fasting immediately with immediacy. But yeah. I know that God sent you here and I'm so grateful because this is where we ask ministers of God to come and share what is the Holy Spirit saying to the church. So I think that was very powerful and very accurate. And then you mentioned something about seven deacons. So let me so allow you to speak. So even before we go to the seven deacons, mm. because what I'm about to say will feed into that. Okay. Let's talk about men. Okay. Let's talk about Let's men. Let's talk about men. Hey. Because we need to understand the economy of a man. A mm -hmm. uh, man masculine. Mm. Of course, when you talk about man generic, that's humankind, mm. which is male and female. Male and female, yeah. But we want to talk about the man uh, masculine. Mm. That the man masculine, the Hebrew word for man is isha. Uh, ish, not isha, ish. ish. I Y I S H, ish. Uh, and ish basically means one who pierces. Mm. It is taken from his physiology, mm. referring to his sexual organ, mm. but that is not the meaning of it. Okay. The meaning of ish, mm. one, bears seed for planting. Okay. That is innovation. Mm -hmm. Innovation that has its root in heaven. Amen. What a man produces, no other man can produce. That's so true. Because that is seed mm -hmm. that God has put in him. Mm. Second is breaking new ground. Okay. Turning a desert into, into a spring. Okay. That is piercing. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, is raising the next generation right, not right. just raising. Right. Raising it according to God's principles. Oh. And then fourthly, the piercer is one who is responsible with what he does, has what you call structure. He has structure. Mm. He has boundaries. Mm. That's the piercer. Okay. So that's the first economy of a man, ish. Wow. The second economy of a man mm. is G-E-B-E-R, geber. These are Hebrew words. Mm -hmm. Geber. Geber is valor. Valor. Strength. Strength. With valor and strength. Mm. Strength means power to accomplish. Valor means power with honor. Power with honor. So strength to accomplish with power and honor. Correct. Okay. That's Geber. Wow. The strength of a man. Mm. Now sometimes mm. we find situations where men are what we call emasculated. Yes. Yes. Happening the emasculation of a man happens in the following ways. Okay. One mm. is what you call fatherlessness. Yes. Because men are designed mm. to be raised by men. By men. And okay. women. But by men. But primarily by, by men. men. The women make a contribution. And a useful one. Yeah. Very, 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 very yes. useful so not one. not negating their sense and purpose. But the lead actor 
in, in raising, raising a man is a man is a man wow give a woman a boy boy and in the first 6 years of his life he'll be fine the from first then six. first 6 years he'll be fine the boy really? will be fine and that's almost biblical because jesus if you looked at that time yeah. in judaism yes. the child would be raised by the mother correct. until 6 years correct wow so 6 years from 7 he will start asking for his father wow and, and it doesn't what do we do with all these people who are who even hide fathers who uh -huh. say fathers cannot that come is, if the father is not providing that is they where I'm so coming. many issues and <laughs> this this all i see is that first of all for me this child needs the parent every uh -huh. parent uh -huh. but now there's an emphasis he needs his father so that is where i'm coming to okay so so the the thing about it is from seven mm. a boy's consciousness once a hero in his gender really heroes come from valor yes and strength in his gender and power he wants a hero in his gender in his gender he wants to see another man and walk with, with another, another man. man from eight seven seven eight onwards and he needs oh, to spend God. time with his father and what I usually tell the women when I speak in women's mm. forums, mm. I tell them, mm. put your differences with aside. your baby daddy aside. aside. Let them be your issues. Prosecute That's them in your them. space. Yes. But do not bring them to your boy. Yeah. And do then not use together. your boy as, as a, a weapon. weapon. Do not yeah. weaponize yeah, that boy. Do not weaponize that child. It doesn't matter how deep your pain is. Yep. Yeah. Never ever tell your baby daddy you will not see your Because son. you're not providing, because you're not doing this, because you've put all sorts of vicuazos here, and, and you're, and you're reasons, injuring your child. And you're the, destroying and this the reasons child. Are, the reasons are justified. They are justified. The action is not. They are justified, but there's the a bigger plan not. here. The decision we is not. We need a whole human being here. Correct. And you cannot deny his father access. Correct. And, you know, because one part is, there's a father who is being denied access. Yes. Now, the other part, which maybe Reverend Tom, I wanted to speak to, is where there is no father. Where yes. the father has completely denied this child, wants nothing to do with this child. Is that when you look for other fathers? What do you do? God has provided in every ecosystem. Okay, I like ecosystems. Um, honorable, upright men. So they need to start working with that man. Correct. Whoever it is. Whoever they are. And if the father is accessible and wants to be part of this child's life, Correct. please, can we stop the drama? Immediate access to Correct. that, to that, to that, to that child, to that father and that child, because Correct. this is for the future. This is for generations. In because fixing those things is so hard. Very difficult. You grow like that from seven to I don't know eighteen, nineteen. Hey, you go start your own family. We've started another cycle of drama yeah, that so, is too much. So that's the one way. The Good. second way. Mm -hmm is by being smothered and oh, smothered is smothered. when smothered is when mother becomes overbearing yeah so you, you add an you, s to mother it becomes smothered. smothered but you know we do that because we're trying to make up here Correct. this is what we do it's actually naturally in us mm -hmm. the, it, we just want to make up there's no father here i messed up i brought the, we're trying to fix things Correct. that's what we do we're and fixers. so i don't blame women for smothering yeah, what fixers. i say what i say is <laughs> go about it another way and we can only fix it with love reverend correct. tom i'm waiting for another way but i'm just trying to tell you yes fix it with yes, love that is my correct. daughter always says if i had a son she said there'd be too much drama right. so she's very happy that i only have a girl correct. That's her so so yeah. so the way that women can do it mm. is bring an honorable man into the life of this child okay. make sure they spend honorable time man once a week they spend time together together just the diarize two of them. it they go out, mm. they talk, mm. they what? You don't keep calling. If this okay. father, mm. if the child's biological father is available, mm. let Make them, let them, if he is unwilling totally to see agreed. his child, then get Fine. an honorable man yeah. who can be spending time with him. Once and a week. diarize it once a week. They do something as they men. Let them do things. Be truthful with your son mm. about his father. Yes. Show him a picture, yeah. you know. Because yes. this thing, once, once you have an absent father mm. and a smothered son, 
smothered sun. Winter. What happens is there is a disemboweling or uh, the loss of energy, loss of geber, loss what? of... What? Hey, Reverend Tom, disemboweling. Disemboweling. You remove the bowels. You know the bowels hey. is a place of strength. Yes. That's why when we go to the gym, we are told, work your work core. Work your core. Work your core because yes. that's where your strength is. Yes. That is also spiritual oh because the core is your heart. Oh, okay. Reverend Tom. So, you should have to carry tissue. Today is the day for just crying and weeping. You know, so you, 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 you. Disembowel. You, that child is slowly disemboweled. So you find they have no strength to do academics. When they finish, they have no strength to go to college. When they go to college, they eat fees <laughs> and they don't finish. Um, then they get into drugs because they are trying to cure a, a deep, deep pain in their soul, which they have no idea How to why do it's it. hurting so bad. So bad. So that is how oh men God. are emasculated. Then, then because life happens, they fall in love, mm. but they have no capacity for a relationship. So they fall in love, they impregnate a woman, and they have a son, and they have no capacity to, to raise that son. So the cycle continues repeating so cycle itself. Continues. So somebody has to fix this in this So we cycle. need to fix. One way to fix men in this International Day of Men mm. is all the men of honor and integrity who are listening to me mm. adopt at least two men. Amen. And start working with them. At whatever age? Whatever age. Adopt them. And then secondly, conversations about men in all forums, beginning with the church. Intentional and frequent conversations, conversations about men as a priority. Because this is a crisis. It's a big crisis. The emasculation of men is a crisis. It's a big crisis. And then thirdly, wow. we need to have safe places where men can cry. Mm -hmm. Because men have a lot of pain, and it comes out in anger, and it comes out in, 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 in abuse and violence, it comes out in drugs, mm -hmm. it comes out in violence and crime. Mm -hmm. It is just that brokenness on the inside mm -hmm. that cannot be fixed any other way other than in a safe space with a person who understands healing and who can take a man through healing. That is how we fix this. And the sooner these movements of men begin, the sooner our men begin to heal, our boys begin to become men, able to bear the strength. Because God built society on the strength of a, of man, a man, on those shoulders, that geber, yeah. and that ish. That strength and power. Yes. If that crumbles, society crumbles. crumbles. And we're going to have what you call a skewed, I mean, we cannot cure a skewed a skewed society with legislation and with guns and with security. So you put in all these men in prison. That's what you do. They end up wasting and, their lives in And uh, then what? Are we going to be building bigger prisons and more prisons? That's what they're doing in other countries. Like in first world countries, they build bigger prisons, isn't it? They We're going to be building profit, prisons. You're prisons. going to be building mental hospitals. You're going to be building uh, places of rehab. Is that what the economy is meant to no. do? Then you fix the problem from the core of it. Hmm. So the men each adopt two men, and then these men who have adopted men, do they need to get somebody also to, yes. to walk with them? They have to have. So that it's a whole cycle. Yes, we have to have men walking with men. With men walking with and men. Men standing on other men's shoulders. Because, you know, in Bible school, one of the things they taught us in Bible school, they kept saying this statement, which I then saw in real life, like, what is lacking in society is proper functioning fatherhood. There's a f fatherhood is completely lacking it's globally. It's, not, yes. it's a global problem yes. where fatherhood is not functioning, and therefore it has caused all sorts of problems. Mm. Um, so I hear you. And then I'm wondering also, because we talked about the seven-year-old, but at any point, like if somebody has a 14-year-old, a 15-year-old, oh, the as journey long as can they begin. can start, the journey can begin. The journey can, even so at people 25, should start anywhere. They, anywhere. Anywhere Just this start. journey finds you, start the it. soul of a human being, the soul of a man, can oh. always be redeemed and restored. Okay. One a last one. I'm just hearing as they come. So let's say these children, the, they were their father is abusive. 
Yes. He's abusive, he used to beat their mother, all these things. How, is that going to be a healthy man to come with a child? Or do we put the abuse, condom me and him, and let him raise his children? What if I feel like, I'm just stating, I'm just feeling, like he's of no earthly good. This man, he just drinks, he just does this, he's violent, he's what? Is that the person, or do I look for, you said men of honor. Good. That's a very good question. Mm. First of all, you have to understand that your feelings are legitimate how i'm feeling correct and what happened so yes and what has happened what happened is factual with the legitimacy of the feelings and the accuracy of the facts you still have to make a decision that works for this boy okay and for me i i go for a dual decision mm -hmm. allow the father in a safe space to father his children okay in a safe space in a safe even space. if it is regulated as in there is security there okay but in a safe space yeah. Let the father father his children. Let him answer his questions. The questions With, of the because children. Because the children are going to ask him questions. Okay. Do not poison the children. Yeah. Let him answer his questions. If he becomes a danger to his children, then therefore it means you need a that father. you need you need to withdraw. Mm. If he becomes but a danger to his children. To his children, not yeah. you. To not his to children. you. To his children. That's what I'm trying to do, make it clear. However, a danger to his children because he's still his seed. Correct. However, you also want to, in that ecosystem, introduce yeah. a person who would be like a mentor. To a man who would be to like a mentor. This child. To now this child. To the child, yes. yes. So he has a, so he's he having has a, a relationship with his father yeah. and he's having a relationship with his mentor. He can see two and men. And at some point, one day, he will decide, I'm Correct. sure. Correct. He can yeah. see two men mm. and he can see two parts. Yeah. Because sometimes when you have a messed up man, mm. Um, and they don't know how to help themselves. Mm. They still need to father their child. They still do. But there are things they can't call out of that child yes. because of their brokenness. Because of their brokenness. Now that makes sense. Now that's where the mentor comes in. Yes. Because the mentor can, he can call out ask things. The questions he can't ask oh, his father. He can ask the mentor. He can ask his mentor and yeah, say, that's, Why that's so does this happen? Yeah. Then the mentor can say it's like this, mm. and I'm not castigating your dad. Yeah. Your dad has this and this problem. Yeah. But this is how it should be done. Yes. I really so like that. Because two stories come to one of them is that I don't know what gave me the wisdom, but some didn't get because I wasn't born again, I don't think, at that point. But I remember mine is a girl though. Um at some point I wanted to get her passport and I I I asked her her dad were then estranged and he refused. But then I went ahead and got the passport. And guess who was the first person to use the passport? Him and her. So I went to my mom. So as you're speaking, I'm thinking, wow, thank you, mom, for your wisdom. And I wanted her to stop it. I said, listen, this man is taking the child and a passport, and they go to the airport. Like, we can't make this happen. And my mom said, that's her father. That is mm. her father. Wherever he was, take her, let him take her. Mm. If they never come back, that so is... So be it. That's so be it. Because she told me, that's her father. Mm. Whatever the he wants to do with, with her... Her father leave it i was so shocked i was like mom what kind of statement is that she said that is the child's father mm. whatever they do if she even should show me let's just see if they end up in yugoslavia Man, and they live there for 15 years it's too bad because that is the father of the child mm. let it flow she said god is in heaven you go pray but just leave it i'm telling you i have never had so much fear and trepidation but it was good because it broke something and i've always been intentional about her spending time with her dad always mm. always even taking her to the village when there's mm. something happening in this village mm. yet we are not together she has to land there because yeah. i tell her these are your people these, observe your people know your people these are mm. your people so mm. i don't know where that wisdom came from but that is a good thing i think that you have spoken like fifty-five thousand men because that's needed and i think it's good even coming from a man and let me also just say this to women i want to say this to women mm. because as men we love you mm. women are passionate and that's good mm -hmm. women are very clear about very many things mm. and that's very good men need that when a woman is hurt, she needs to know that what is hurt is her passion and what is hurt is also her clarity. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Dr. And wow. what she needs yeah. is people who can, like your mother, yeah. speak wisdom yeah. into situations where passion would rather reign. Yes. Me, I was going with passion. Me, I was yes. like, how can this man take my child away? Yes. And, and, and so oh, wow. I, I say to women, surround yourself with a person who can tell you something you don't want to hear. Uh -huh. 
So these are not just your girlfriends, okay? Yes. These are people who are removed from your space of influence, mm. but who you say, I need you in my life, I need your voice, because mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, around me there are people who cannot tell me no, yeah. or who cannot tell me that's not reasonable. Mm. Who cannot speak to my passions. Correct. Cannot speak to my it. passions. They will side with me. Mm. They will sympathize with me. <laughs> they will empathize with me. And they will tell me, go, We're go, go, girl. We're all this together. But we, could even, needs we could even create a support group Correct. to support this. Correct. Uh, Atachama. Yeah, Not yeah. <laughs> but you know you need somebody who will apply the brakes. Yes. Brr, yeah, I'll like my you, mom. Stop. She really applied them. I went away in a daze. Yeah. So I, I was saying I wanted to speak into this because it, it basically speaks But you're talking about passion and clarity. Yes. The women. Yes. Women want passion and clarity. They have. So when a man enters the equation and sort of messes this up, Correct. You, you have messed up with our passion That's and our clarity. You have to forgive that. We'll go to decodes next week. Passion and clarity. What yes. happens? So how, what hap how do the... How how do do we, so one of the ways the women can deal with that is by having a, a, a person who's able to speak into your life. Yes. Not just to placate yes. what you're saying, yeah. but also to guide you. But what about, I don't know, just what about this passion and clarity? Because a lot of relationships are in problems because of, and families because of this passion and clarity from the woman. So how the does she woman. align that apart from having a voice that's speaking to her? I think the first thing that a woman needs to do is to find healing. Healing is a process and it takes Even time. her own healing. First, because it's her passion that is wounded. Yeah. Yes. She needs to find healing. It's her passion that is wounded. Because you see, for a woman, if you wound her emotions, you yeah. wounded about 70 to 80 percent. Everything, even 100. Of her. You, me, I'm done. So, I just collapse in a heap. It's just that we those, have to wake up and do Those things. broken pieces uh, need to, come needs together. to be gathered and put in the hands of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> That's where I found my healing, I tell you. Yes. And then there is also the other thing about women. Mm. They're very clear about very many things. When mm. I sit in counseling, mm. especially couples, and I've done that for many years, uh, the women know. The person that makes sense in that <laughs> equation most of the time, and I'm not saying 100%, no, there are sometimes so the, the equation is the, the other way around. <laughs> but the person that makes sense most of the time is a woman. Is the woman. Okay? But so, after finding healing, a woman needs to find boundaries. Aha. Hey, Reverend Tom, you are helping us. Hey. Boundaries. What do boundaries mean? Boundaries are healthy limits wow. that, that define you mm. and help you define others and help you define situations. Helps define you. So three you definitions define are important. Define others and define situations. Correct. Three definitions are always important. Mm. 3D. Mm. Yeah. You know, <laughs> defines you, defines others, Def and defines, defines the, the situation. situation. Those are boundaries. So, you may come with it from only one D. Yes, I am right. I am right. Okay. And I have been hurt. Now, just always remember there are two things you're missing. The others? And the situation. The situation. Because the fact that you're right... Does not make... Does not mean that that is what should be happening in this that situation. That is so true. Number because two... Because the others... Correct. And there's a situation. Correct. And the, the fact that you're right doesn't mean that the that. person you are with is agrees wrong. with you. No, oh. no, no, no. Agrees, agrees with, with you. you. He may be wrong. But he they don't have to agree with you. He may be wrong, but he may not agree with you. And yes. the moment a person is wrong and you are right yes. and they don't agree with you, you have conflict. Yes. Actually, for me, what helped me yes. the most is when I saw the first people, I saw, I saw the first couple agree to disagree. I almost fainted. That me, I'm listening about me now. Agree. <laughs> I was like, what? You mean people can disagree? And we don't have to go around with a long face? We don't have to give each other a cold walk? That really helped me. Yes. That people can actually disagree and live. Yes. Like this conflict is a small part here. Can we leave it here and stop making it about the whole situation? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you then, once you have conflict, the game changes. The game changes. The game changes. Even if we agree to disagree. No, agreeing to disagree is part of resolving the conflict. Resolving the coffee. But you see, but the moment you have conflict, the moment you have, the moment you are right. And your and husband is wrong, wrong, and he insists and you insist, you have conflict. Mm. Most people mm. do not resolve conflict. conflict. Oh, they yes. exacerbate it. They make, they, it, they worse. make it worse. They dig in mm. to till, their places. Till sometimes you can't even find out what started yes. all this. And if you try to remember, by the way, how did we get here? 
we can't even get back to it because we've just so now by the time you give them skills for resolving conflict oh. in order to get to the place you have said mm. which is a place of agreeing to disagree mm. that conflict has eaten everything eaten and that's how relationships oh die now it has eaten everything. it has eaten it, it cannibalizes everything conflict cannibalizes everything it's not a bad thing but it is something that must be managed and resolved and one of the ways of resolving it is agreeing that on this matter we can't, we can't agree, agree. Yeah. is it the, the second question becomes is it a deal breaker yeah. yeah if it is a deal breaker then you break the deal but if it's not a deal breaker <laughs> if it's not a deal breaker you tuck it in to, yeah you yeah. tuck it in somewhere yeah. Yeah. and say let's yeah. not fight about it we yeah. have agreed mm. that we are not going to agree on this matter mm. so we will not revisit it yes we have resolved it we have resolved it in disagreement yes you see resolving conflict is not always agreeing yes resolving That's conflict agree to is agreeing to settle a matter that is so important and this matter will not affect us and this matter cannot be resurrected Correct. It's dead and buried settling a matter Ikokonyuma. settling oh, a matter does not always mean you're on the same page yeah. or in settling a matter in a, or in agreement settling yeah. a matter means you have found a space yeah. that is common yeah if people learn that um reverend tom it's just it's 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 life changing it's life changing. The, all the situations you've mentioned, first of all, that, that there's a situation, that there are other people, that there's you. If we learn that early, um, life will be very different. <clears throat> and you know how threatened we are by when people disagree with us? Very threatened. Ah, very. Know, people just get terrified. Yeah. So you, you, this person thinks differently, and the moment you speak, they say, no, I don't agree with you. Mm. I think, uh, and then you say, no, but how can, that, how can you not see what I am seeing? Always try to put it people on your possible. side. It is possible. For me to Allow people to have different views. Correct. But the thing is, once there is conflict, mm. the game always changes. The game always changes. Always changes. But it's not possible humanity not to have conflict no, at all. It is but not maybe possible. it's how I see the conflict. It from what I'm seeing, from what I'm hearing yes. from you, it's how I see the conflict. Correct. And yeah? how then you handle it. Yes. How if, I see the conflict and how I handle the conflict mm, is the issue. If you mishandle it, yeah. it will hurt you. Yeah. If you handle it, mm. it will help you. And you know, I'm just thinking also spiritually as we come to a close, spiritually, that's why I think spiritual things also are very, is it the word even they say slippery? Because if there's even a, sp a spiritual element in this thing, yes. eh, it becomes like an elephant. That's why you have to be very careful. You better pray, you better fast, you better keep quiet Yes. before you enter. Because if now there's, there's, uh, there's spirituality added to this whole thing that you're trying to discuss it's crazy because you can never find the root of even some of the the relationships that have broken you know i'm just thinking you can't you, you or even a conflict that's where did that thing come from when you try to think about it you can't find it now let me speak to the men because speak it's there to the men so that we can in, bring it now man in relationships yeah. needs two yeah. things two things yes yeah. he needs respect yeah. and he needs peace respect yeah even the bible says um Respect we're, as a woman, we're supposed to Ephesians 5 Ephesians 5 21 to 33. Yes, yeah, it says to no, it says submit and then respect. Correct, yes, so you need respect and peace. Respect and peace mm -hmm. now for the men, and you know, we don't, we don't like peace a lot. You ask guys where people for to causing peace, like why is this situation for the too woman peaceful? Because, must, uh, because what is going passion. on? Why are you so peaceful? Say something because here because of passion and clarity. <laughs> Let me let you finish. The mouth eh. hey. will do its work. Also, we need some <laughs> changamko here. Good. People are too peaceful. Why are you peaceful? Just relaxing like that. Correct. Oh. So what I would say to the men <laughs> is, is this. Respect doesn't come from demands. Ah. It Respect doesn't, doesn't come from, from making demands. demands. Correct. You don't oh. demand it. It's earned, sometimes they say. Eh. No. Eh. First of all, you have to have the security in yourself that ah. you are respectable. It doesn't matter oh, what Reverend people Tom. around you are doing to you. You need to know. You need to know. I like that. So if somebody disrespects you, that's okay. Really because it is I am respectable. Their problem. Yes, not mine. Not mine. Good. I love so that, that is security. I Respect comes scared. from within, not without. Not from without. Okay. It comes from within. I know God honors me yeah. and I honor him. Oh wow. Because of that I respect myself. Amen. Number 2, I respect my wife and my children. 
So I decide to give it. To give that respect. Correct. Number three, mm. peace comes from God. That's so true. Philippians 4, 6 and 7. It does. Do not be anxious about anything. Mm -hmm. When everything with prayer, supplication with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. To and God. the peace. Verse oh, 7. God. And the peace. That comes from up there. It dwells in my heart. Yeah. Let the peace of Christ dwell in you richly. Mm -hmm. Colossians 3, about verse 15 and 16. Let the peace of God. Once it dwells in me, I become a giver of that. Of that peace. So it doesn't matter how cantankerous my home environment is. Mm. My wife will learn to respect me. She will learn. I will not demand. I will just give her respect and I'll give her peace. You know the thing about you women is this. If you talk and then <laughs> I am quiet. At some point, your we frustration so yes, we will bring you to the place where we are quiet. Where you're quiet mm. and then now we can talk. And that's the beauty of a person who is peaceful. Reverend. That he is not disturbed <laughs> by the lack of peace on the other end. On the other end, he has his peace. <laughs> he has his peace and he will just say, mm. oh sweetie, mm. you know that I love you, mm. okay? Mm. And I know that, that is really this matter, this mm. matter we mm. can solve. So let me just give you a hug. You can vent out and uh, then we will talk. I'll buy you ice cream. Let's go out for ice cream <laughs> and let's talk. <laughs> I will say, okay, so now let me hear you. Yeah, yeah that will create a very different you do that three times. Vibe. You go by surrender. You do that Let's three times. Move now with what you do. have peace and respect in that the home. That is so true. Oh, <laughs> the only talk. problem sometimes with us men mm. is we add fuel to the fire. Yeah. So when the woman is saying, we are also Even saying, you. so who do you think? I am the man I am in the, the house. Man in this and house. And I need peace. Uh, that it doesn't come. That it doesn't way. come. Just way. let let it come. Bring it on. Yeah, know it yourself. I think. Be at peace. So that inner healing and that inner knowing. So you become now a peacemaker. Yeah. And there's a big difference between a peacemaker and a peacekeeper. A yeah. peacekeeper uses force. But a peacemaker. To maker, keep and preserve peace by force. By Even force. people, in fact, peacekeepers make people quiet, not peaceful. Mm. They will beat you suppress. into submission. Yeah. Yeah. But peacemakers yeah. will draw out all your violence, peace. your noise, mm. your 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 brokenness. They draw it out of you. Amen. And then you'll also find you just settle. Amen. And you say, you know, you're a good person to be around. Yeah. Because when I'm cantankerous, you just let me throw mm. those things. Then, then you will sit and you will appeal to my reason, you will appeal to my heart. Amen. And I begin to see, ah, this is how it's done. Amen. Amen. Look at that camera, Reverend Tom. That was absolutely amazing. And pray for the men, because we agreed to pray for them. It's International Men's Day. Oh Lord, we call out to you for men. If you're a man, mm. I want you to put your hand in your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we cry out to you as men. Heal our hearts. Many times we are so angry. We've been provoked to anger by our fathers. Mm. We've been provoked to anger by our mothers. We've been provoked to anger by our siblings. We've been provoked to anger by life circumstances. Oh, Father, we pray that you heal our hearts. Heal our hearts. Give us the wisdom that comes from heaven. Give us the bread that comes from heaven. Give us the healing that comes from heaven. And give us the peace that comes from heaven. That we will be self-respecting. And because of that, we will have utmost respect for the people you have given us. Our women, our wives, our daughters, our sons, our parents. Everybody will know that they are deeply respected. And because there is peace that surpasses all understanding, mm -hmm. we will be carriers of peace. And we will be peacemakers, not peacekeepers. We pray that you will lead and guide us and order our steps. I bless you all, men, in this day, and the women that love you. I decree you are blessed. May you become strong. May you bear seed. May you carry seed and sow it in the right places. May you become innovators and creators. May you become wealthy. May you be honored. 
May you be respected. May you be productive in the places where you've been planted. For those of you who are discouraged, may you find encouragers. May you find men who will raise you, mm. men who will lift you, men who will hug you, men who will lead you to the cross where you will find healing, men who will fight for you and speak for you. <coughs> it is not lost. It is not lost. Is Your not cause lost. is not lost. Thank you are not Jesus. useless. Whatever you are told when you are young that you are not going to amount to anything, it is not true. May God bless you. May God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Happy International Amen. Men's Day. Happy International <laughs> Men's Day. Amen. God bless. Love you lots. Bye.